Hello, brothers and sisters of the bar. Professor Jeremiah here. Just came in the door just a few minutes ago, and I thought I would shoot a quick video response to a question Paladin Piper was talking about or topic he was talking about the other evening. His topic was one that comes up from time to time here in the YouTube pipe community and that is, is high-end pipes, are they really worth it? I guess it depends on what your definition of a high-end pipe is. You know, there's people out there who I know personally who think that if you're spending more than $100 on a pipe, you spent too much money. Some people who won't spend more than 50 bucks on a pipe. But for this situation, for this case, I'm going to consider a high-end pipe to be anything that's over, let's say, $250, and let's say under $800. Now, I would say that anything for me that goes over $800 is an extravagant pipe. That's how I would price that. Not a, not a high-end, but an extravagant pipe. A luxury Smoking my Bjorn Nelson. If a gorilla was asked, do you have a favorite pipe? This is my most favorite pipe. But this pipe is not my most smoked pipe. So for that reason, when I'm asked in one sense, what's your most favorite pipe? I feel like to say the Bjorni, it is my most favored, but not my most smoked. You don't see me smoking this pipe in many videos, maybe only one video. The reason for that is, is this is my relaxing pipe. I only smoke it maybe once a week. And when I smoke this pipe, I don't like to be doing anything. What makes it great? I think the briar, for one, this is a grade B. And it's something about the briar. It is, it is just the most cured, perfect briar. Then I believe it's the custom, the handmade stem, specifically made for this pipe. It's not an injected molded stem. This stem was made for this pipe. The draw you get out of it's incredible. When this pipe initially sold, it was a $600 pipe. I did not pay that much for it. <laughs> the initial purchaser bought it, took it home, smoked it once or twice, and returned it. He didn't get back all of his money. And as I was friends with the shopkeeper, he gave me a deal on it. But I want to show you another. This is another Bjorni. You probably see me smoking this one quite a bit. It's not as to the same quality or standard as the grade B, hence the grades. This pipe, though, is a great smoker, but nowhere in comparison to this. This was most likely carved by Soren, excellent carver. Uh, but it has Bjorn's label on it. Fantastic pipe. Yeah, this is another carved grade C Bjorn. Excellent pipe. This is an incredible smoker as well. I bought this as an estate pipe. Many of the pipes which I'm going to show you, the only way I afforded them was I bought them as estate pipes. So back in the day, this was about a four... $350, be on. Let's go to another pipe. 
Now, there's a pipe. This is a nice smoker. But you want to know something interesting about this? This was a basket pipe. <laughs> it's not a custom stem. It's a mold stem shape to fit this bowl. Uh, it's a good smoker, though. So this was a $30, maybe $35 pipe. Then we go to a Chinese pipe. This is a great smoker. It's a small bowl. It's normally a sampling bowl for me. And I always kind of think of it as like a little acorn. This was a $12 pipe. <laughs> but a great smoker. Still not a Bjorn, though. And I don't mean that in brand. I mean, it doesn't smoke like this. But let's go to a, a more affordable, which some of you may consider a high-end pipe. I think this was a... Uh, Two hundred dollars, two fifty maybe, is now what Ian Walker's Northern Briar pipes are selling for. Great smoker, great smoker. I, I feel like his are some of the best smoking pipes you can get for your dollar. This was a Amarelli, which I bought as an estate pipe. This is a fantastic smoker and in my top 10 of favorite pipes. But then you have a pipe which many of you have seen me smoking. This is uh, one of my most frequently smoked pipes, at least once every other day, sometimes once a day. It's a basket pipe or a Chinese pipe. It's a road town. I think I paid $32 for it. Smoke's really good. Doesn't smoke as good as a Bjorn, but smoke's good. Sir Jacopo. Another good bang for your buck. And a great smoker. Smoke's better, though, than this pipe. Though this pipe is still a great smoker. So it all depends on really for me I don't I buy pipes based on the, the shapes I mean you've seen some of the different shapes here here's a another $700 Bjorn I didn't pay that <laughs> no, no. but this is a grade A an incredible smoker smokes better than any of the others in this box with the exception of this one so yes, there is something to it. It's not in the mind. <laughs> but I'm just as happy with this pipe here as I am other pipes, though I enjoy this one more. At the end of the day, how much do you enjoy it? I got this pipe I thought if every pipe smoked like this and I were a rich man this is what my cabinet would be filled with Well, brothers and sisters, <laughs> hope I didn't stir up a hornet's nest. I like pipes. I just showed you some of my more favored pipes. And yes, some of them would be considered, by my ranking, a high-end pipe. But also showed you some low-end, very affordable pipes, which are everyday smokers and good smokers. Would this have been worth $600? Not to me. Unless I had $600 to just spend. 
an adult. Brothers and sisters, hope you have a good day. God bless.